Welcome back. Today we're testing the new Motive Jackal Ambush. If you like what we do, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe and check us out on Patreon. First impressions, the Motive Jackal Ambush is clearly another big piece that continues to take advantage of the Predator V2 core and has the gusto to cover some boards. All right, let's get into it. The, the formula for making a strong ball is somewhat simple, but always tricky to get right. Having a quote, strong ball that actually looks strong is more difficult than bowlers think. We've discussed this previously and I'll always refer bowlers back to my arsenal building to better understand shapes. You need to know how to build your bowling bag like you would a golf bag. I mean, why would you need two drivers or two putters? And while we are enamored with having the latest and greatest, I really think people can look at balls when they need to fill a spot because what they have is say lost their mojo or something, right? In the case of the Jackal Ambush, um, it's, it's meant to be the quote strongest ball in, in Motive's current lineup and indeed it is. It's got grit and giddy up. We've tested many strong balls and the results vary. Uh, strong means handles more volume, not necessarily covers more boards. So there are sometimes um, the strong balls that find a good blend of being able to handle volume while somehow managing to still have a big move down lane. Uh, and then there are those that are so strong that it, it just, they bleed a lot of energy. So when you try to use it on your standard conditions or you move deeper, they just puke. The Jackal Ghost, for example, is a kind of a master level ball. It does the business. Now, trying to find a ball that's a little stronger, and there is room for that, by the way, that will still retain the angularity is tricky. And I feel motive has effectively or was effectively able to accomplish this with the ambush. I really enjoyed it because I always trusted it would turn the corner. And even while I can see it grip the lane early, right? So so yes, it's smooth, but that term is a bit deceiving as well. It, it reads earlier, so to the eye, it looks like it climbs a little slower back to the pocket, but it seemed to always make it. And with Tyler here, he saw the same thing. He really enjoyed throwing the Jackal Ambush as well. Yes, it's strong, but it didn't feel super chuggy in the sense that it was angular enough. You felt good that it was going to make the turn. And for sure, Tyler needed to give it room, but that's when you know a ball that fits into the, quote, strong category is going to be good. When you trust it's going to make it back, even as you open up the lanes. And the Jackal Ghost is also one of those balls, and it, along with the Ambush, fit in strong defined in my arsenal but there were definitely times where the jackal ghost was simply not strong enough and i feel that you know it's amazingly versatile but in the wettest of the wet conditions it was a little lacking in that last bit of strength to manage those conditions now we have the ambush and this one is very similar in shape but really covers that little extra i feel you know was needed for those conditions so you could theoretically have both balls if you face heavier conditions house or sport. Now generally Tyler doesn't need a ball this strong, but he still really liked it. And that's a glowing endorsement to be honest. And Brian was up next and, and what can I say that hasn't been said? Uh, he really liked the ambush as well. And the way the ambush rolled gave Brian a ton of confidence. You could see it read somewhere near that 35 to 40 foot, you know, mark. And that, you know, that startup is super confidence inspiring. And then it just smoothly rolls in a heavy through the pocket. He just had a very good look and was also throwing it very well. And we even discussed how having a reaction that lights up your eyes loosens your swing up. So it's a positive cycle that feeds itself. And even as he moved in, the ambush continued to work. He didn't instantly see a cliff where the strength of the ball just made it like, you know, stop and quit. So as he edged left, he still had reaction. But even when it hit light, it carried well, which again opens up the lane. And we've seen this with a couple other balls for Brian where it just works supremely. What I can say is that this look was unforgettable. Now just to wrap up, as I said, the Motive Jackal Ambush is clearly a strong defined ball in my arsenal building methodology. And so was the Jackal Ghost. However, you can fit them side by side where the Ambush is strong defined plus, for example, or the Ghost is strong defined minus. I Meaning each and every one of us loved this ball reaction. Can I say this ball's a must? Well, I mean, nothing's absolute. What I would say is if you're a power player and you have a Ghost and it covers the highest volumes for you, then you probably don't need an Ambush. And for the rest of us, if you have a Ghost, I would suggest an Ambush if 
you at times find you need just a bit more ball than the ghost on certain conditions. And if you don't have a ghost, well, get an ambush. Or maybe better yet, get a ghost. I don't know, but they're both really good balls.